So in this video, we're going to cover how we can impersonate a user. Now this can be good as an admin if a user has an issue and you need to see the application how they see it. Now there's a couple of ways to implement this like most things in programming but with this we're going to implement it with some custom middleware. So we're going to make a controller first. So to make this controller it's obviously a PHP artisan make controller and we're going to put this under the admin namespace and we're going to call this one impersonate controller. So let's create some routes now for this controller. So under roots web, so we need two routes for this. We need one route to create the impersonation and another route to destroy the impersonation. So the admin can get back to his own account. So we're gonna use our route group here for the creation of the impersonation. And to do this, we're just gonna do a root get and that's gonna to go to impersonate user. And we're just gonna pass in the ID of the user we want to impersonate. And this is gonna to go to our impersonate controller and it's going to go to the index method and we'll just give this a name of impersonate that we can use in our views so because this is in this uh, root group here and we have the auth and auth admin middleware only somebody who is logged in as an admin will be able to start the impersonation of another user and outside of this group we need to create the destroy method and now the destroy method is a little bit different because you're already impersonating another user you can't put the route inside this group because once the impersonation starts, they'll never pass our auth admin middleware check. So let's create that. I'm going to do a forward slash admin because remember, we're not inside this group, so we don't have our prefix anymore. And we're going to say impersonate and we're just going to call this destroy. And then that needs to link to our impersonate controller. And again, we're not inside of uh, this group, so we haven't got our namespace. So we need to do admin backslash impersonate controller and we're going to create a destroy method in there let's give this a name and we're going to call this admin dot impersonate dot destroy so we can use that in our views and again we're prefixing this with admin because we're not inside of our root group so we don't have our name prefix so now we have our roots let's implement these two methods so it's been created under app http controllers admin impersonate controller and we had two methods we had the index method and we also had our destroy method so the index method took in the id of the user we want to impersonate so the first thing we need to do is get that user out of the database so we're going to call so we're going to make a variable called user and we're going to call user where the id is equal to the id that's been passed and we're just going to get the first result if there is one and then we can check whether there is one so we can do if a user has been found then what we want to do is put into the session that user's id so we can do session put and we're going to put a key of impersonate and the value is going to be the user id now after we put that into the session we're going to return a redirect to forward slash home and the reason we do this is because if we're impersonating a user that doesn't have admin access, they're going to get an error unless we direct them to a page that isn't protected by our auth admin middleware. And then the destroy method is pretty simple. All we want to do is delete our impersonate key from our session. So we can do session forget and we want to forget the impersonate key that we put in. And then we can just return a redirect and let's say home again. We'll return back to the admin home page. So that's all we need for these methods. So now we're going to make some custom middleware that will check whether the session key has been set. And if it has, it will alter the logged in session. So let's create that middleware. So it's PHP artisan make middleware. And I'm just going to call this middleware impersonate. So under app HTTP middleware we can now see our new impersonate class and what we want to do is we want to check this session first so if session and we want to see whether it has the impersonate key and if it does have this impersonate key the built-in laravel auth class has a nice method we can use so we're going to call auth once using id and we want to get the id of the user out of the session and we put that in the impersonate key. So this will create a user session 
one time using the ID that we've put into the session when we've set it here. So we just need to bring in this, uh, bring in the Laravel off class. So it's under Illuminate, Support, Facades, Off. And over in our Impersonate Controller, we also need to bring in our user model because we're calling it here. So use app user. So for our middleware, we need to register this now. So come under app HTTP kernel. And remember how we added our custom middleware under the root middleware group. For this, we're going to do it a little bit differently. So this top middleware group here is applied to every single root within our application. So we could put it here, that would work. But if you had API routes as well, it would also execute that. And maybe that's not what we want really when making API calls. So there's another group here called middleware groups. And this is where you can apply the middleware into the certain root files. So we have API, channels, console, and web. So under web, we can add this in here. So we just do app, HTTP, middleware, and we want to call our impersonate middleware. So now this middleware will run on every single route within that web file. So over in our view now, we need some way to impersonate these users. So we need to add a new button in. So let's do that. So if you come under resources, views, admin, users, index and we already have an actions column so let's just add that button in here and we can actually just copy our edit button here and let's change this to admin impersonate and we can pass the user id in we don't need to change that and we'll just change the text of the button to impersonate user to make this button stand out i'm just going to change the class on it from primary to success but you can style this however you want so let's refresh this page now. And we can see we have the impersonate user button. So let's impersonate this user here, Professor Herman. So let's just click impersonate. And you can see now we're redirected back to his dashboard logged in as this user. And because he's not an admin anymore, we can no longer see the manage users link. So now we have a problem. We can't get back to our admin user without calling the destroy method. So let's add a link up here to stop impersonating a user. And to do this, we're going to use another custom blade directive. So let's build on the one that we created in the earlier video. And we come to our blade extra service provider, and we can see our has role blade directive we created last time. So let's create another one now. So we'll do blade if, and we're going to call this impersonate, and then we're just going to pass this a closure. We don't need to pass anything in this time. And what we want to do is we want to check if the session has a key. So we need to get that key out of impersonate so if it has that key then we want to return true else if it doesn't we just return false so now we can use this blade directive to show or hide the stop impersonation button so let's add this into our view so if we come under resources views layouts app.blade and we can put it here so we see we have our has role method so i'm just going to copy this down and obviously we need to change this to impersonate and we're not passing anything in this time. And we also need to change end impersonate. Now this route needs to go to admin, admin impersonate destroy. And for the link, we can just simply say stop impersonating. So let's give this a try. So let's refresh the page. And we see we have our stop impersonating link. So let's hit that. And we can see now we've gone back to our admin user and we can see our manage users link again. So we can do this to impersonate any user we want. So we can impersonate the author and we can see we, as the author, we can't manage users because he's not an admin and we can stop impersonating again.